For two years, foreign correspondent has been tracking an incredible wildlife success story. At a time when the threats are growing and the extinction crisis is deepening. We are, at the moment, winning the war against poaching. I'm proud because I'm doing a good job for the country. Here in Zimbabwe, conservationists and wildlife warriors have done something extraordinary. The endangered rhino is back from the brink. Now it's about spreading that success beyond our borders. I'm on my way to the Malalangwe Trust. It's a not-for-profit private wildlife reserve, teeming with animals, and one of the greatest concentrations of rhinos in Africa. I was born in Zimbabwe and I grew up in Australia, and it is such a pleasure to be back in my homeland. So many familiar sights and sounds and even smells. My guide is Sarah Clegg, one of Malalungwe's resident ecologists. We've got a group of five white rhinos. Sarah keeps track of the black and white rhino populations here. What do you think of the body condition? The body condition is good. It's good. Yeah. Trophy hunters in the 19th century decimated Southern Africa's rhino numbers. Waves of poaching over the past four decades almost wiped them out again. It's a constant threat. The problem lies in the fact that the value of the horn is so much more than the value of the living animal with its horn on. Extinction is not theoretical, it's real. In the last couple of years, we've seen the near extinction of the northern white rhino with only two females left, no males left. And I think it's a disgrace that this can happen. We need to make sure that it doesn't happen again. Today, Malalangwe is one of the most successful rhino conservation projects in Africa. This is a special sighting. She's one of our first rhino. She's had about 10 calves here. Sat Savalani is a 36-year-old black rhino. It's always wonderful, it's always exciting, especially when they give you a bit of a charge like that. In 1998, Malalangwe started with 28 black and 28 white rhinos. Now, hundreds of rhinos roam freely here. Happy animals can produce more babies that can grow populations, and that's what we need with rhinos. It's day one of Rhino Ops, a week-long mission to gather vital data on the herd. Every year, at least twice a year, we select rhino that are about to leave their mother so that we can mark them in a way that we'll be able to identify them for the rest of their lives. The team is searching for a black rhino cow named Gongani and her most recent calf, who is thought to be 17 months old. 